All right, we're about 100 k's along the Inundata. Stop for a look. It's not going great. Oh. What do you reckon, buddy? Good? Is it warm? All right, that's coming in. Go through your fridge, check it all. Don't do what we did and leave it, it's even worse. Righto, the last major, major one is do not, do not travel on there with a Righto, what's going on you bunch of legends? Hello everyone. Righto, so you would have just seen that we, uh, we're hitting the Unidata track. And um, we just had our first little stop, stop in there at a place called Farina. It's an old township, uh, established in 19, oh, sorry, 1858, it's pretty old. And we uh, just spoke to an old, lovely old man called Nif Nifty. Nifty. Nifty, not Thrifty. Nifty. He was in uh, the underground bakery. He was pretty nifty. He was pretty nifty. He knew his stuff. He knew his stuff. Uh, he's in the underground bakery there. They, they're allowed there, it's this old township they're preserving. Um, they're allowed there from the end of May for eight weeks and it's an old wood-fired bakery so they cook up loaves of bread and cakes and all that sort of stuff there so yeah there's i think there's about two or three hundred volunteers that volunteer their time but they're only allowed to do two weeks at a time two weeks at a time so they don't burn the old the oldies out they don't burn them out and so they've all got a job and all that sort of stuff so. yeah i think it's about 50 of them per two weeks but um yeah it was cool it was a cool little um historic little township there so if you call them past it's pretty much the first stop on the unadatta track after the sign but yeah back to the unadatta we uh yeah we're hitting it so uh, murray tonight and um coward springs or something tomorrow maybe yeah we'll probably hit up coward springs go have a look what's there and yeah we're doing it on our own so Hopefully uh, everything holds up for us. We don't have any dramas. I think I don't think we will. We're pretty equipped for it, so. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's go have a look out there, eh? See you along the road. Here we are, first stop for the night. Not even unhitching, just put the stabilizers down. It's um, it's just out the back of the pub, the Mari pub. Oh, there's the pub just there, right there. And um, it's free, I think, if you if you use the pub, you know, you get a beer or a feed, I think. We better go ask them anyway. But um, otherwise, it's just donation, I think, five or ten bucks a night. Or if you're tight, don't pay at all, but we're not like that. But yeah, we're gonna go have a feed and probably a couple of skewies. Yeah, Mari. Seems like a good little spot. There's reception here, so we're stoked. Yeah, let's go have a skewy, eh? What do you reckon, boss? I reckon we can go have a skewy, eh? <laughs> yeah. You reckon? <laughs> you can have a cake? What do you reckon, Nazi? Let's go have a skewy. Let's go have a skewy? Cakey. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the back outback still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little bit. We'll be out there tomorrow again. Right, right let's go. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's going on, hon? We left the Mari pub this morning. Been on the uh, the gravel in and out of track for about half an hour now. It's not the worst. It's not the greatest either, but it's not the worst. Yeah, like it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's not like there's potholes or anything. No, a bit of corrugation and pretty rocky. So yeah, I haven't um, I haven't let the tyres down yet, but I might stop soon and let them, let a bit out. I think maybe we'll see. Yeah, not much out this way. I'll show you a bit of scenery, eh? <laughs> there ain't much at all. Hold on to your hat. about 
100 k's along the Unadatta. Stop for a look. It's not going great. Oh, we've cleaned up a bit in here, but ah, uh, what, what have we lost? We've um, we've done a window. That's all right. It's an easy fix. Couple of screws. Ah, uh, what have we done over here? We've done um, just this lost a cover of a window. Easy again, but I'll flip you around a bit. Hang on. There we go. Right, uh, we've done a microwave. I'm gonna have to fix that now. A few more screws. Nothing major. We've done a fridge. <laughs> Ah, uh, the bottom cover's broken off it, I think, to hold that up. Just a cover. The freezer flew open, all the out of the freezer. Ah. Uh, nah, not stuff. <laughs> no, bathroom's fine. Bathroom's good. Yeah. Alright, so it wasn't, wasn't the worst, but. Oh well. And did you do the D shack? Oh, yeah, we are. Uh, the reason we stopped is because we could hear the chain, a chain rattling, and obviously we've lost a D shackle. So, lucky out of spare. So that's that as well. Anyway, we'll fix this up. I'm gonna let some air out of the tires, see if it helps. There's a couple of really rough spots, that's all. Apart from that, it's really good. But yeah, just some really <laughs> spots. All right, let's do some maintenance. All right, the running maintenance is all done. Hey, Nashi. Thanks for your help, buddy. <laughs> fix the microwave, fix the window. Haven't fixed the fridge yet. We'll do that when we get to Cuba. Ah, uh, let the tyres down, what do I do? 20, about 26 or something in the front, 30 in the back, and about 35 in the van. We'll see if that helps. <laughs> Don't know if it will. Anyway, maybe we'll just slow down a bit. Maybe we, we should be doing... Going pretty fast. You're meant to be doing 100 along here, eh? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go, guys. Put in here at Coward Springs. How cool is this? They give you a um, he puts a little, little uh, what is it, blackboard on your little site. On your site, it says, um, Welcome, preserved. <laughs> All the sites have got a little blackboard, freshly raked, fire pit. Bloody schmick out here. We haven't gone, we're gonna head down, we're setting up now and um, go check out the, the springs. But uh, you know, that drones here, so I won't be able to do any drone footage for you. But uh, apart from those few things on the road, we opened up the door now, and it's not it's not too bad. Nothing else has come apart. Um, there's a fair bit of dust in here. It's kind of expected. DRS is doing a half decent job. There's no, it's not coming through the windows and stuff. It's just coming in. I don't know, maybe out out of the bottom cupboard there where the hot water service is. It must be something that's not sealed up properly, or I don't know. There's a little bit in here, but it's not all over the beds and everything, is it? No. It's just. A, bit on the floor coming in somewhere yeah underneath the fridge but yeah there's a fridge just the front panels come off that's all right that's an easy fix apart from that all good apparently that's the bumpy side coming from Marie to to yeah. Coward Springs that's the bumpy side so tomorrow we should be in for schmick conditions I heard it's freshly graded part uh, most of it so from here so you can sit on about 90 all right Let's uh, go check out these springs in a minute, eh? See ya. Ah, uh, one thing we did forget to check. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Is our fridge. That is all. <laughs> ah, cottage cheese. Through the whole thing. Chili filly. Some tomatoes. So you know what you do with that? You just go like this. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> we'll sort that out in Quiver PD in a couple of days. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah! Damn, Moon Got us. Got us. We're on our way to look at the uh, Coward Spring. Um, there's some toilets in that here. If you want to use them and you're not staying here, it's $2. No, 
no we, no fee, no we, no, what is it? No okay. fee, no we. No fee, no we. And then, what else they got here? Private run conservation zone, please respect our environment, others, visitors at all times, thank you. And then, all non-bookings, please see coffee van. Oh, it even tells you which way to go. Yeah. Reservation map. And welcome, not camping, don't forget to pay. Two dollars for the, what is it? Two dollars for the spring for an adult and one dollar for a child. And then, oh, they sell firewood too. Firewood, 20 bucks a bag. Pay your fee there. Self-registration if they're not here, it's a camp. Coward Springs, it's privately owned and managed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, something. Oh, and now she's hurt himself again. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's go have a look. Ah, oh, look at this. We're the only ones here. How do you open that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we are. The Coward Spring, baby. Woo! Nice soap. Oh, it's nice and warm. The natural spring mash. You want up in? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. What do you reckon, buddy? Good? Is it warm? Alright, that's coming in. Lucky you know how to swim. Oh, it's sandy on the bottom? Isn't it? There's a big boat coming up for you filling it up. Hey, how good is it? Pretty warm. Could be a little bit warmer maybe. <laughs> nah, it's alright. It's going to be cold when we do it. Queenslanders. Alright buddy, you're on pancakes. Flip him. Need some help? Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Okay, a second. Alright, ready? Set, Set go. Oh! Oh no! A little bit quick. That's alright. Good work. Well done, mate. Oh, <laughs> Radio, that was our night at Coward Springs. We're on the move today, heading towards Cuba. Um, first of all, I'm just giving the um, all the wheel, all the wheel nuts a check. Um, go along, and just check that they're all still do uh, all, all still done up um, and tight, I suppose. Um, just from yesterday's on the corros, I reckon they, you know, you don't want them to come loose. Obviously, it takes two seconds just to check them all. Uh, but yeah, last night we just went and um, caught up with some people we met at Mount Little Station uh, a couple of nights ago. And um, they're actually from where my brother, uh, near where my brother lives. And funny enough, they know them. Know them and um, she used to actually teach my sister-in-law's oldest daughter when she was about three, I think. So yeah, a bit of a small world, isn't it? But anyway, that's us. Just give these wheel nuts a check. Caitlin's inside cleaning up. Um, we're out of water, so we can't do too much. I think we might go check into a um, caravan park for a couple of nights just to give everything a clean and give that fridge a good clean and yeah. But anyway, we'll give you some um, tips in the car along the way in a minute uh, about, yeah, some tips from, from our experience on the Unidata. Righto, I'll see you there, eh? <laughs> Ten minutes down the road. The joys of having kids, he already needs to do a little wee, so he's got to pull over. And the joys of the Udadada, look at it. You can pull over wherever you want, mate. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Ah, in the van, we're all good in here. Nothing. My little uh 
Oh, what's that from? Oh, no, it's just cardboard. That's all right. Bit of dust. That's all right. Oh, I still don't know where it's coming in. Anyway, just dust. Nothing else. On we go. You right, Nashi? You good, buddy? Do we? Yep. What else you got to say? Nothing? Any tips? Any tips for him? What's your number one tip? Just balloons? Oh yeah, bring balloons, you reckons? <laughs> oh, there we go. Balloon for him, keep him in ten for hours. Balloon that I, uh, Mum, let, Mum let his balloon out the door yesterday, halfway down the track, so what? we had to get a new one. Alright, see ya. G'day guys, we're back here, we're off the Unidata now, um, we're in Cooper Pedy, so I'm just going to run through some tips and tricks from our experience along that track and let you guys know what, what went wrong with our caravan and what we've done to fix it. Um, so we'll start up the bed end, that's fine up there, mind the mess, um, there's no point probably showing them, but mind the mess, Caitlin's doing all the bed sheets today, <laughs> all the washing, so yeah, that's just reality, it just makes it look messy in here in a small caravan pretty quick. But yeah, so that's all. That end was fine. Nothing happened up there. Fans stayed up. That was all good. Um, so with the DRS here, what we've done halfway along the track, you just pull that out, pull your filter out, give it a tap out, get rid of all the dust that were in there. Was in there. Um, that's going to help it. Hopefully, flow a bit better and keep your filter last. Make your filter last a bit longer. So there's nothing else up there. The door, it was all pretty good. I think it's let a bit of dust in, maybe through the, the seal there. Um, and maybe our muck, muck mat was a bit dirty as well, so it's probably rattled rattled out. Hey, big boy. Hey. Right, so moving on um, to the cupboards. I don't know, probably next time, it's for, for what it's worth, pull your drawers out and put some more screws in the runners because they've only got a couple of little small screws here. For what it's worth, I reckon just chuck a couple more in each runner. Um, a couple of hours, the runners um, come off. So yeah, takes you two seconds, just chuck some more screws in. That stuff was all good, all the above was fine. Yesterday morning, uh, the morning before I think it was, or yesterday morning, I'd suggest before you hit the track, go through and nip all these screws up in all your, in every cupboard. For what it's worth, it takes five seconds. Um, we had a couple of handles come loose, and also if yours is the same as this, just tighten all these up. They tighten up, they just screw on. So that's easy, that's an easy enough job to do. Uh, sink, righto, so with our sink, if you're going to travel, take the plug out completely, put it in the drawer, or if you want to leave it in, you want to take that bit of, unscrew that off, put some Loctite on it, put it back on, that way it's not going to do what ours did, and drop down in the sink, ours has gone down in there, and now it's gone for good, pretty much, because it's not like, like a normal um, sink at home where it's got a trap. This one just goes straight down to the bottom of the caravan. So it's down the bottom of the caravan somewhere. So yeah, off to the hardware shop this morning. Had to buy a whole new assembly, 25 bucks, because they didn't just have the plug. But anyway, that's all good. We've got a new plug now, and works a treat. Going forward, range hood. I've done this before we hit the Unidata, but I suggest putting an extra... All that come with was two screws each side there. Pre-drill a couple of holes in this outside flange, put some more black top screws in each side. So now there's eight screws holding that range hood up. It's not gonna come out now. Uh, with the four screws, because it's so close, those screws are so close to the cutout, they're not grabbing much. So now those ones are quite solid and um, <laughs> and they're gonna stay there. Careful mate, you're gonna fall off there, you are right. So that's the range hood. Uh, this morning as well at the, at the hardware, I grabbed myself some more brackets for this Bloody microwave. Have a look down here on the microwave, like you would have seen on the track. It come out, it come out twice. So what you want to do, I reckon, what I'm going to try is now put the original brackets back on, the four. I've got an extra four. I'm going to grab one in each side of the middle and two in the top. So there's going to be eight brackets holding that. I've got bigger gauge screws in hopes that it'll hold a bit better in the side of this thin metal sides. It's not real strong. So I don't know, before you 
hit the track as well if you want to do that yourself. It's probably worth it. It's a lot easier to do it. All you got to do is, oh, I've got the cover plate over there. Take those two screws holding that cover plate on and you'll get to those brackets. It's pretty easy. It won't take long at all. So yeah, I suggest doing that before you hit the track as well. Uh, our table handle come off. That's an easy fix. Just a couple of screws back up into there. Whether you want to do bigger ones or not, yeah, I just screwed it back up. That one's an easy fix. Come off there, mate. I just need to open up that top. Okay, so the the same drama I've had before with this. That was all good. These screws here, these two into here. This one's the one I fixed last time. I've Loctited it and I fixed it and it didn't move. This one over here coming out this time. Um, so same thing, you need to pull all these, there's eight screws or 10 or something. Six in the top here, four on the sides, you need to pull them out and you need to lift that whole top up, get to that screw, it's gonna be in the bottom there, put your hand in, find it and put some Loctite on that screw and then that way it's gonna stay there, Nash. Dude, <laughs> just come over there, please. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop. Uh, everything else, battery, that's it. nothing else in those covers are fine. Another one, quick, easy one. This one, come off. Just check these screws on these on these um, top plates here. Tighten them up. That's They're gonna stay on there then. Ours, that one, come off on ours. Uh, grill was fine. So our cupboards underneath have got quite a bit of dust in them. I think it's from the wheel arches. I don't know how to stop that. I'm gonna have to get in maybe silicon some more stuff up underneath um, or just clean it out. Righto, one of the main ones moving forward is the fridge freezer. So what you wanna do along the track, ours flies open, everything come out and then it shuts itself and you come in and you think, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> they don't have a lock on the top. The fridge does and it's awesome. It works a treat. The freezer does not, and I don't know why it should. So I grabbed some, we had some good gaffer tape and just taped that shut and it didn't open. It was good. It was on pretty rough track the second day and it stayed shut. It was perfect. Um, excuse me, buddy. Main one with this fridge. So this here is just a cover. It's just a black cover on this fridge. And all that's holding it is this bottom black, um, black plastic cover kind of thing. It's got three screws underneath. You're not gonna be able to see them. Take that off, take the three screws off, pull that black cover off, and what you wanna do is pull, that That just comes out, slides out, put some double-sided tape in behind that, and um, put that back on, and it's gonna stop that bouncing up and down, and that's broken that pl our plastic bottom there, so we have to get a new one. It's gonna stop that rattle rattling and breaking that. <laughs> so that's, that's the fridge on the outside. I'll show you some footage in a sec of the fridge on the inside. We opened it up yesterday and it was uh, absolute brothel. <laughs> um, go through your fridge, check it all. Don't do what we did and leave holy yeah. shit, it's even worse. <laughs> My god. Righto, so pretty much that's going to all go. I don't know what you do with that. Um, all the bottles, everything's she stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I don't know what you meant to do with that. <laughs> now, <laughs> now it's schmick and clean. Now it's a resort. It's good now. Um, highly recommend taking pretty much most things out of there. Jars, um, loose lid items, like we had cottage cheese. Yogurt. Yogurt, a caramelised onion, a bottle of wine went... Um, the garlic just the lids just rattle off and it tips over. Uh, we were lucky our beetroot container flipped upside down, but the lid stayed on. Thank God for that because that would have been the next level. Take everything out. I don't know. Put it in a box. Put it in the fridge. If you've got like an angle fridge in the in the car, chuck it in there. Just put it somewhere containers else. Containers with a lid in They're, the fridge will be fine. These fridges are no good for travelling on rough. It just goes everywhere. Mama, I open this. Good boy. Righto, so that's the fridge. Yeah, those few things, major. Going forward this way, everything was pretty good. The fans held up all right. This one come off the wall a little bit, um, but nothing major, just the cover and the covers there. <laughs> Righto, the last major, major one is do not, do not travel on there with a full toilet. <laughs> we made the absolute mistake of doing that, and yeah, it wasn't, 
So we had a fence. We had nowhere to empty it. And we're not just going to empty on the side of the road. We haven't been anywhere since Hawker, about three days before, to be able to empty it. I didn't fully check in Maree. If there's one in Maree, if you're coming from that way, check. If there is, no matter how full your toilet, dump it there before you get on the track. Because we had absolute dramas. And we, our toilet went everywhere in our bathroom. It was leaking outside. Um, it was pretty, pretty <laughs> I'll blip that out. But um, It was a shit show. It was a shit show. Yeah, I didn't film any of that. No one wants to see that. And from our experience, I hope you guys learn and don't do the same. Just dump it wherever you can. I don't know. You might be able to do it at Coward Springs if you get to there. They might let you do it in the drop dunnies. I didn't ask them. Maybe they do. Um, it's worth it. Just get rid of your toilet. Even if it, Just get it empty. Because you don't, do not want that. It was nearly just to light the match in the caravan and walk away. It's all good, mate. I just cleaned it out. All right, so yeah, that's all the outside of our van was perfect. Um, this caravan is unreal. We're not saying, I can guarantee that this stuff happens to nearly most 98% of the vans on the road. I'm just trying to help you guys before you hit the track do these things. They're easy things that you can do yourself um, before you become in, they become bigger dramas. Um, because otherwise you walk in your van and all of a sudden you're like, you're going to be calling your uh, manufacturer being like, oh, my van's all stuffed, where it can be avoided quite simply with just those few little things. So yeah, that's, uh, that's our experience on the Inner Data. If we, we would, would we do it again? We probably wouldn't go that way again. we now that we've done it. I do suggest still doing it. Um, you, you are going to have dramas. You're going to have dust. You're going to have cleaning to do, but it's all part of the experience, all part of the fun. We still had a good time. Um, it is, it is, there's a lot of nothing out there. It's a lot different to what you see anywhere else in Australia. That's for sure. So yeah, Caitlin, what do you reckon? Would you, what's your, uh, would I do it again? <laughs> uh, no, but I'm glad that I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Next time I'd just stick to the road, but yeah, if, if I hadn't done it before, I certainly would. Would I do another dirt road in the outback, like the Gib or something right now? I'm going to say no, but in a couple of months time when I get there that may change but um yeah for me it was a, it was a, it was a bit of work <laughs> <laughs> if the bathroom hadn't hadn't have happened maybe it, it wouldn't have been as bad yeah so we well, yeah we're still undecided on the gib where maybe thinking it might be like childbirth where you apparently forget the pain and um by the time we get there we'll be like yeah let's do it so we'll see you you guys will see that as well um but yeah it was awesome Still do it. Loved it. But yeah, that's the end of data track for you guys. Hope you enjoyed our episode. Um, give us, if you did, if we helped you anyway, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe button. Hit the notification so you know when we're, our next videos are coming up. And give us a comment, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Love yous.